Hey, what's up guys? Um, finally got a place. Um, but I just wanted to reiterate something that I've, I've talked about before. <clears throat> and that is um, like how to hold love and be present in the moment. Because that's what this journey and road to like dissolving all those lower frequencies is all about, right? Like when you're being and you're you're being present and you're loving yourself and loving the moment, then that's what enlightenment really is. And um, that's that's just the path, the road, you know, and being in that state is the road. And then you get to explore so many different realities and um, and uh, see so many different things and uh, unite with with the with consciousness and with with the, the Lord, you know. Um, and, um, I've talked about it before, but I've met, I met an ET who's in a human body and, um, he was conscious since, uh, four years old. He said that his brain was developed enough to, um, remember all of his past memories and stuff. And he said that holding, holding your energy here on the side of your temples. And I've actually seen his aura there before. And it looks kind of like this, um, this beam of light going like right here and like, ho like holding like right there. Um, but if you feel the consciousness of the universe and feel that space and, or just imagine if you don't know how to feel it really yet, just imagine that you can reach out and feel that space right next to your head and hold love there. And what I actually found out recently, what, which works better is that, um, if you hold, hold space right here and, um, imagine like two golden orbs, right. And you imagine them as light, like eyeballs, um, right next to your head. Um, it, it, it kind of, it makes you see the world in, in front of you more and be more present what, at like what you're looking at, you know, and, um, yeah, so I also I also talk about listening to sound a lot and and being loving that sound and loving that sight, you know. So if you can imagine the sound vibrating those eyeballs, but you're also looking outwards. Um and in the Sumerian um the Sumerian epic of the gods and uh it talks about how Marduk is this being that comes comes in uh in at the very end of this like space war basically to end the end the war and he's depicted with four eyes and i kind of like thinking about that like um and imagining you're looking through all these realities while listening to sound and being present with that golden aura of silence you know and that golden aura of being present and that golden aura of source and um yeah so it helps helps a lot and um I, I was running into this issue and I actually still am of my body feeling drained and it was because I stopped using that technique and I started feeling the inside of my body more. Um, but yeah, I don't know why I stopped. I think because Eckhart Tolle talks about going inside your body and I mean, going inside your body is good. Um, like doing Kriya meditation, Kriya yoga is, is good. Um, and moving your energy up and down your spine is really good to go inside your body and purify those those chakras and purify your your um uh your 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 like spine and um all of your blood and, and your body and stuff but um when you're out and you're doing your daily daily routine having that those golden golden eyeballs next to you holding space there and observing the world uh, around you without thinking is like the pure state to be in so um, yeah, guys, I hope that helps. Peace.